I studied multimedia and communication studies at McMaster University, and I graduated in 2007. Now, my current occupation is a media specialist within the Faculty of Science here on campus. Uh, my primary roles revolve around the production um, and maintenance of multimedia assets for the Faculty of Science in the University. And this ranges from e-learning um, to video, graphic design, photography, web design. Um, we like to joke that if it can uh, be displayed on a glowing rectangle, we can produce it. The education and training required to perform the jobs within this organization, um, it really boils down to your ability uh, to learn on the fly. And that's something that you know, I think the humanities degree really prepared me for. You know, they, they help you identify the areas, uh, the skills that you need to brush up on, and then they kind of leave you to, to learning that on your own. They guide you, they mentor you, but they don't tell you outright, you know, do X, Y, and Z which is a much more valuable learning experience in my opinion. And that's something that media specialists need to be able to do because we have to be very adaptable. The technology, the tools, it changes very frequently. And we need to learn new processes, um, you know, several times a year. And if you can't, if, if you don't know how to learn new software and, and, and new technology, you're going to get left behind very quickly. Volunteer experiences were quite instrumental to helping me get to where I am today. And I guess the, the path that I, I've chosen really began in my third year when I decided I wanted to shift gears um, in summer employment and start my own business. Um, I started my own freelancing um, uh, company. I would do video work, uh, website design, and a little bit of graphic work. And what that really helped me do was apply what I was learning in the classroom to real world scenarios that had real consequences if I didn't finish them. So it was, it was a great experience that um, strengthened my application when an opportunity came up through um, the humanities department to apply for um, video work at the International AIDS Conference, conference which I, um, I think was run through the EAA um, at the time. They were, they were organizing the volunteer component of it. And, um, yeah, it was one of the best experiences of my undergraduate career. Um, I was right up there alongside the professional video crews. You know, we were recording a panel with Bill Gates and Bill Clinton, um, debating about care options, and um, I, it was a good opportunity to network. I actually met um, a future employer and my current employer. There, um, I was given an opportunity um, immediately after the conference to work at a, a television studio, and my current employer, um, McMaster. I met Chris McAllister there. Um, who helped turn my thesis project into uh, a full-time job. So it was um, kind of the starting point for my career as I know it today. Um, I would have loved to go on exchange um, during my undergraduate degree, but unfortunately, or fortunately, um, I was employing a lot of the skills I had learned to a job in, in industry. Um, so the ability to travel wasn't really there, but one really valuable experience was um, volunteering with the DeGroote Finance Association. Um, finance and math and the humanities are never really close. You know, there aren't too many cross-reference classes in math when you know, I'm an undergrad. So I thought, you know what, I'd really like to round out my educational portfolio by stepping outside of my comfort zone and seeing what applications there are for this, you know, really, you know, really important skill that I wasn't picking up. So I would say to students, you know, look for those clubs that you know are going to make you a more well-rounded student and, and look for opportunities within them. You know, I was employing some of the multimedia skills that I had to do their website and communications, but by osmosis I was able to learn from the members that were there to talk about finance and investing and, and all the stuff that I really wanted to learn. So it was a great opportunity for us to you know, experience each other's uh, degrees um, through through one common goal, which is you know understanding financial markets. My humanities degree um, left me with one really important critical skill that media specialists um, live and die by, and it's your ability to ask questions and really analyze critically 
um, a piece of technology or a piece of information. Um, the tools that we have to work with change on a weekly basis. You know, there's new cameras, new software, um, new web services, um, but it's understanding the context in which those um, apply to a broader picture or um, a communications goal um, and, and knowing which questions to ask. Uh, that's a skill that I really took away from my humanities degree and it's something that I'll be able to apply um, in virtually any role that you know, I take on from, from this point forward in my career. I'd say the best way to prepare for this type of career is to diversify. Your, your education is an investment and, and you need to uh, expand it outside of the classroom. You need to um, look for as many volunteer opportunities as you can. You need to um, look for as many opportunities to build new skills that you're, you're afraid of. You know, this is your, your chance to do things that really scare you because there are no consequences as a student. I mean, this is, you're in this environment to learn and to fail and, and to learn from those failures and to become a, a, a better person. So look for those clubs that you can build, you know, videos for, or websites for, or do photography for. Look for those friends of family or small businesses that need work. Um, look for as many um, opportunities to um, employ your skills that you've picked up in the classroom outside of the classroom as possible because that's where you're going to do your real learning. Mm -hmm. In terms of things that you should be presenting to your employers to, to get kind of a similar job, um, your education you know, is important, but it's not the most important thing. They want to know what skills you have, but they also want to know um, the path that you took to achieving certain outcomes. So when you're showing them your portfolio, you can, you can show them a really beautifully edited piece, a uh, video that you shot and put together. Um, but I think most employers are going to be interested in how you came to produce that. You know, what were the challenges that you identified? How did you work with the client? You know, tell the story of the work from start to finish. Um, and I would advise students to keep a small journal. You know, as you're working on projects, if you, if you run into a problem with a group member, if you, you know, run into a problem with a piece of technology, just make a note of it. Because when you're interviewing later on, you want to be able to tell these stories and let the employers know that you're a critical thinker and that when you, you know, run into problems, you know how to overcome them so that you can still um, reach that, that final goal. If I had to leave students with one piece of advice, it would be to look for as many opportunities as you can to employ what you're learning in the classroom outside of the classroom because that's where the connections really happen and, and all the things you've been taught really make sense. So look for the volunteer opportunities um, within the campus community, look for volunteer opportunities outside of the campus, um, or even start your own small business. Uh, it's something I did that has been one of the best experiences of my life. Um, it, it teaches you a whole um, periphery of skills that range from, you know, accounting to customer service, um, marketing, advertising, project management, time management. You know, it's, it's um, one of the more valuable things that students can do is, is realizing what skills you have and how to sell them to um, potential clients, which, you know, later will be your prospective employer. Um, but of course all of this only comes when you're willing to step outside of the campus and really engage in some experiential learning. Um, so that motivation has to come from within. Um, so I guess the, the best piece of advice I could really close on would be don't be afraid. Uh, you're here to make mistakes and you're here to learn from them. Um, grades aren't everything. You, know, you have to walk away from this feeling like you've learned something. So take those chances and, and get out there and uh, apply what you're learning.